Hey there, Human Resources Gang. It's the start of week number four, which means that at the end of this week, we'll be almost a fourth of the way through the semester. I think it's going real quickly, but I think it's going very well. We're having some great discussions, and that's going to continue this week. As a reminder of what you need to be finishing up from last week, uh, all the posting has been done on our Generations Discussion Board. You just need to make sure that by the time you go to bed tonight, assuming you're watching this on Sunday, that you've read all of those things. If it's still giving you trouble with not getting rid of that little blue line, go back to our content and our video library and look for the video that I recorded on the Discussions uh, I forget what I called it, Discussions Updates or dis not Updates, Discussion pointers or something. I forget what it was. Anyway, uh, make sure that you've got all of those things read by tonight. And uh, you want to keep working on your professional paper. That's due Sunday the 21st. So a couple of weeks yet, but you need to be making some progress on that. New this week, we have got discussion number four, which is all about HR's role in recruiting new employees. You want to be able to make sure that you've read the overview and you've looked at the articles, you've picked one of the three discussion questions, and you're ready to make your main post of 175 to 200 words by Tuesday night to get full credit. Uh, the discussion this week is not being led by me. I'm excited to turn over the reins of the discussion board to team number one, which is, uh, I'll mispronounce names here, I'm so sorry folks, uh, Beer and Boyd and Haynes and Hurtado, uh, S. Johnson, Kavanaugh and Wilder. It's our biggest team by one. Uh, they've, been, uh, they've been working hard to come up with all of the articles for you, to get the overview ready, to get the questions ready. Um, if you're not part of that team, the same rules as always apply. You want to post Sunday, Monday or Tuesday. You want to do a follow-up Wednesday or Thursday, a follow-up Friday or Saturday, and that's the that's all you really have to do. If you want to get more involved in that, that's certainly fine. But make sure that all of your follow-up posts are 80 words or more so that I can get a good feeling that you have done what I expect you to do. Uh, if you happen to be one of those uh, seven people, uh, you're, you're, you've got the same basic requirements. You need to have some sort of a post Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. Now remember that initially you're just going to post something that says I'm on the leadership team, look forward to seeing your thoughts, but that won't count as part of the original posts. Sometime on Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday you need to do your first reply to somebody else because you've got to have a post on Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday to get full credit. Then you want to have uh, at least three days, that being one of them, to get full credit and you want to have at least two other people to get full credit. But if you're on that leadership team, you need a total of six altogether. Now, you could do two posts on each of three days. That's fine. Or you could do uh, one post on a day and four posts on another day and one post on another day, and that still meets the criteria. It's just that there are six posts instead of three, but you still want something Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and you still need three different days in all. It's going to be a great topic as we talk about recruiting and how we get people interested in our company and in our jobs. While we're doing that this week, team number five is going to be doing their research on selection and on interviewing. And that's also an interesting topic. They're going to want to have that to me by Wednesday night the 10th in order to get full credit. And that team is Condor and Delapaz, Dunn, W. Johnson, Mosley, and Nelson. They're going to want to work together to do their research. Um, nothing has to be done from Team 4 yet regarding the topic lead one Dropbox. You're actually going to do that in week number five, but this week be making notes on how well it's going so that you'll be able to, to complete that fairly quickly next week. That's it for the week. Uh, recap real fast. Finish up reading discussion number three. Um, work on your professional paper and then this week get active in discussion four and uh, if you happen to be in team number one uh, increase your participation level if you happen to be in team number two be working on everything that we're going to need next week when we discuss your topic that's it for now hope you had a chance last week to look at the discussion update where I talked about those reply posts and that you're changing your habits a little bit to meet my new expectations. Actually, they are the expectations from the beginning of the semester that I'm just now really starting to push. Uh, but if you have questions, give me a holler. Um, 
as I record this video today, I had a phone call with, uh, with a, a student earlier today who had a question about uh, something, and we dealt with that and, and got everybody feeling happy. So don't, don't, don't hesitate to give me a call if there's something that you think is, uh, is better served um, in person, on the phone, whatever the case may be, uh, rather than through a, a discussion board or a text message. Remembering back to our generation's discussion, I'm a baby boomer, so I like face-to-face -face communication as much as possible, uh, where you might like the texts. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll check in with you again next week to keep you on the path towards a good grade in our class. Bye for now.